This video is for educational purposes only. We shall not be held responsible for any misuse of the provided content. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's tutorial. We'll be showing you how to create an Ubuntu VPS using AWS Retire. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get started. Open your browser and go to aws.amazon.com. Link will be provided in the video description. Log into your Amazon AWS account. If you don't have one, you can watch a separate video that explains how to create an Amazon AWS Freetire account. Once logged in, search for EC2 or select it over here. Click on launch instance. Give your instance a name. In my case, I'm going to name it testing. Scroll down under application and OS images, select Ubuntu. Ensure that the Amazon machine image you selected is free tire eligible. If not, do not select it as it may be charged at the end of the month. I'm going to leave the default selection of Ubuntu Server 22.04. Scroll down further. Under instance type, make sure the selected type is free tire eligible. Under key pair, click on create new key pair. For your private key format, select PPK if you plan on using PuTTY to log in. To your VPS or PEM if you intend to use other applications. Since I will be using put in this tutorial, I will select PPK and give my key pair a name. Click create key pair. Your key, your key pair will be downloaded. Do not delete it as you will need it to log in to your VPS in the future. Under security settings, click allow HTTP and HTTPS. Under storage, you can increase your storage up to 30 gigs. However, 8 gig is typically enough for most tasks. Only increase it if you plan to install applications that require more storage. Once done, click launch instance. Now select uh, over here to go to your instance. To log into your VPS, you'll need to assign an elastic IP since the default IP changes every time you reboot your VPS. On the left side of the screen, under secure, under under network and security, select Elastic IPs. Click on Allocate Elastic IP. Scroll down and click on Allocate. Once your IP has been as allocated. Click on Actions, then select Associate Elastic IP Address. Under Instance, select the instance you recently created. Click Associate. Go back to your instance. Now your IP will be changed to your Elastic IP Address. To log into your VPS, you'll need an application called Putty. If you are on PC, if you are on mobile, you can use Juice SSH. Since I'm on PC, I'll be using Putty. Search Putty on your browser and select the first link. 
download click on download putty and select your appropriate vision whether it's 64 bit or 32, 32 bit based on your pc's architecture after downloading putty install putty After installing, open put by searching it. Copy your Elastic IP address and paste it in the host name or IP address field. Under SSH, expand the, the ANTH section and select Browse to locate your private key that was downloaded when you created your key pair. Give your section a name and save it. Click open to initiate the connection. Accept the security prompt. For the username type Ubuntu. Now you can install any script or application you want on this VPS. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you, if you encounter any problems, feel free to comment below and we'll assist you. Peace. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and select another video on the screen.